All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Yes, no, it wasn't Shelly and Fraser Price. No, it wasn't any of the others. It wasn't Sherika Jackson. It wasn't Elaine Thompson Hera. It was Shakari. The first time I hear her say her name, you know, because I always call her Shakari. But she said her name on a video I just got finished watching. Her name is Shakari. Shakari Richardson. Anyways, tomato, tomatoes, potato, potatoes. Shakari, Shakari. I don't understand who me I talk about. I'm talking about Shakari Richardson, right? She ain't too liked. She is not too liked in the Jamaica circle when it comes to track and feel and things. And for those of you who don't know why, it's because certain things were said online before. And, you know, people thought that she took side with people that were making fun of Jamaican people and Jamaican culture so the whole Jamaica turn over Panama my friend so she, <laughs> not to not to mention she also also was in a tumultuous relationship with another athlete who um you know she said was uh boof buffing her kick Kuf kaf kuf in her. It was a lesbian kind of a relationship, and you know, she she even did a video and she basically outed the girl. I don't remember her name right now, and I'm not gonna get into that because that's not what we come to talk about. We come to talk about what Shakari just did. Shakari, Shakari, she just run the world leading hundred meters in Doha. Yes, my friend. Listen, before I get into what was done at Doha by Shakari, let me say this. Remember I said, uh, holy pa Jamaican people cuss me still, but remember I said, I said people love a story of somebody who was down and defeated, they fell and then they rose to glory. People love that, them love see a fall down and then a rise up, a victory story, a overcome a story. You can't just come on the scene and just win from beginning to end. You will be boring. Nobody will pay attention to you, okay? It is of my belief that Nike was actually orchestrating this whole story from the beginning. I don't know if them tell her if you lose some races, smoke like a ganja, get kick out yeah. So we will back you all the way. We're just painting a story. Just ride with the ride with the narrative. Ride with the narrative. Uh, because I can't see any other way. Or I also said before, this girl has more than she's giving. And what if out the blue she comes out to start competing? with those who are at the top of the food chain in women's track and field like the Sherika Jacksons and like the Dina Asher Smiths and like the you know Thompson Harras and like yeah, them kind of people there what if but a lot of Jamaican people laugh me off why because apparently Shakari was going through some things in her life and she wasn't mentally ready so she wasn't competing properly and she wasn't training properly remember another goat Usain Bolt greatest of all time the man the goat Usain said to her listen pipe down on the attitude thing and the whole heap of social media thing and tv extras and just train hard and work it out that's all and then speak volumes on the track let your running speak for itself and then you can add the showboat into the running but you saying said she was a good thing for track and field because you know track and field boring as far as it doesn't get a lot of publicity because there aren't a lot of drama going on in the track and field world so she brings a little bit of flair and entertainment some color to the blah black and white so she has her space and her place in track and field but the time that she ran before before she did go smoke the little weed and them kick her off at the bench and she didn't make it to the olympics yeah that time the time that she ran then was a world leading time as well so me did i said to myself say how come she ran a world leading time once and she's never able to repeat it again something is off something not dead that's all right right maybe with proper training and stuff and getting her head in the right place she can do that again lo and behold this morning i see a video of her she looks very different and she's speaking in the video 
thanks to all the people who watched my video and shared it for what I just did in Doha. And she says, all we saw of her, people are saying Shakari is back. But she is telling us that she's not back. She is just better now. Better as in running better, training better, in a better place mentally, and all these things. So now we are going to see what she has to offer truly one part about it she said she has to she had to return to her faith and this is the reason why she was experiencing all the things she was experiencing going through so much turmoil that she was going through is because she had strayed away from her faith i don't know what her faith is i don't know if it's buddha krishna christian muslim jew hindu i don't know what it is but she said she had strayed away from her faith and quite honestly in the video that she just did she looked pretty calm and collected and smooth and cool she looked very different from how she used to look before see so headline says shakari richardson claims a big international victory when she won the diamond league season opener in doha on friday hmm first of all doha diamond league season opener this is huge so i don't want anybody come tell me about eh me no no i no. think sharika just uh, take it easy people don't take it easy at diamond league diamond league away you run out your soul case you understand you might take it easy on some smaller platform grab a second or a third and chill no i tear up my hamstring i try to get to first because i need to show up for season ready for diamond league season see so let's get that off the table for all the Jamaicans who are going to say in the comment section. So Flo, she can't beat Shari Sharika Jackson. She can't beat Sharika Jackson. Alien will run left her. Remember say Sharika run left. If you are going to call Alien Thompson her name right now, which is still the fastest woman in the world on paper, if you are going to call Shelly and Fraser Price the goat name right now, just remember sherika give the whole of them the run for their money already my friend right so for shakari or shakari richardson to beat her season opener diamond league that's huge not only did she beat her she beat dina asher smith as well and uno no dina asher smith top runner on the track so shakari richardson she won the 100 meters in a time of 10.76 seconds that is the fastest time in the world this year Brrrp. let me rewind that you heard what i just said shakari richardson won the 100 meters in 10.76 seconds at the diamond league season opener in doha on friday this is the fastest time in the world this year all right so stop play next thing shakari um sherika jackson and dina asha get run left she beat both of them the last two world 200 meter champions took second and third place respectively with shakari coming in first she said i am so blessed i feel at peace this is according to the Diamond League. But may I tell us that she's in a Zen mode right now because I watched a video where she's talking about that she has returned to her faith, right? And she says she's so blessed and she feels at peace. And I had to be kicked out from another 100 meter race. So I had to do my best no matter what. Richardson also defeated many top americans including melissa jefferson and tt T. terry who won the 2022 world 4x100 meter relay title for the u.s shakari richardson is the only u.s woman oh no i listen good though i the see them girl everybody i said she does a whole heap of talk, yeah, man. Every time she runs, she come last. Me not like, me laugh still because one time she talked about how she go blow off like a rocket and come out fast and just, and you know, all the extra stuff. And then she came out and she came almost dead. No, she did come dead last. 
<laughs> so to talk heavy and then come in dead last, not even come in like third, fourth, fifth. I eight people on the truck and I think she came in number eighth or something like that. Don't you? All right. But things are looking good for her right now. And I, I said it from the last video I did a couple of weeks ago. I said this girl looked like she is in some good training. There was rumors out there that she had some Jamaican coach that was training her. But I don't know how true that is. And I don't think it is actually true. Right. Anyhow, she now is the only U.S. woman to break 1080 since 2017. In fact, she has now done it five times and she's the only american woman to do it let me say it again shakari richardson is the only u.s woman to break 10.80 since 2017 we are in 2023 in fact she has now done it five times consecutively which means Remember when I started out talking upon this video? I'm going to say, listen, before she run world lead in time. So how come she couldn't repeat it? Well, she has done this and repeated it. And the only American woman to do it since 2017. And she's done it five times in a row now. So that means uh, she's up and running and back on track. Shakara Richardson prospects are looking pretty good for USA Track and Field Outdoor Championships, which in July is going to be at the heats. The top three finishers in the 100 meter race will have a shot at qualifying for the World Championships in August, plus additional spots for the relays. So she is going to be a problem for Jamaica. Me know enough Jamaican. I got say, so Flo, I would have my peer if you say this. You look like you get up and junk this morning. She can't. I'm telling y'all right now, don't write her off. Shakari, Shakari. She had significant momentum entering Doha, having run the fourth, the fourth fastest 100 meter time at 10.57 ever under all conditions on April 8th. Her wind legal personal best is 10.72 from 2021. And she come in around at 10.57. Y'all say I'm back, she said. In a video that was posted to Instagram, you can go check out our Instagram. I'm not going to play the video here for you. She says, y'all say I'm back. I'm not back. I'm better. The new Diamond League meet will be held in Rabat, Morocco on May 28th, which is not far away. So we look forward to that and we look forward to see if Shakari or Shakari can actually hold and pull through and prove ourselves. I'm not know. As a Jamaican, I'm kind of biased because I'm going to be rooting for my Jamaicans all the way over anybody else. But I'm also Americanized in some way. Coming there from me, I lick a picnic too. So if I see her, I don't know. Plus, I just like to root for an underdog. I too like to see somebody fall, get up, and then go on to triumph. So it would be interesting to see. Let's see if she's the one and she can actually do it. Right now, she's looking like the golden child, my friend. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Do you think? That Shakari is going to shock the world. Most of all, shock Jamaica. Because that's where the rivalry seems to be. And rightfully so, because we have first, second, and third fastest in the world. The Queens of Sprint. I'll catch y'all in the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.